Good afternoon and welcome to our live this afternoon. My name is Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in Brackley in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been rather a damp and miserable day today, but they're forecasting snow for next week, so who knows? Anything can happen between now and then. Anyway, welcome to my Facebook Live. If you do join me live, then feel free to comment, ask any questions or add any input. If you're watching on Catch Up, Replay or YouTube, then feel free to add any comments and I will get back to you with a written response in due course. Um, but obviously if you're live and you have any questions, I'll attempt to answer them um, here and now. So today we're continuing with Hydrangea Heaven. I'll keep it out of the, um, out of the light there. Um, which has got this lovely um, Hydrangea image, obviously. And yesterday I used the Hydrangea stamp and then these infills to do the colouring. Let me show you a couple of samples of those. So this was one that I did live. So I stamped the hydrangea itself in early espresso and then I used the stamps for the flower head and for the leaves and the stalk which is all one, um, this is all one stamp and this is one stamp to fill that in. I added the sentiments from the same set to an incredible woman and on the inside of the card I added a little bit of detail with one of the stamps if you can see that in there and I also added that to the envelope itself on the back and also on the front. So this is using our note cards and envelope, note cards and envelopes even, and these are a really nice size um, for note cards. They're not too big in that you feel you've got to do a lot of um, decoration and the like, um, but equally they're not too small that it looks like um, you know you've just made a, a tiny little card. Great for beginners because they get to fill up a bigger a smaller space uh, much quickly. So I did this one yesterday in Highland Heather and I also did a Rococo Rose version, which is this one here. To this one I added some Wink of Stella, which you probably can't see the detail of um, on there because we're in artificial light. When it's in the sunlight, you can really see it sparkle, but you might see it a little bit there. Hi, Jeanette. Thank you for joining us. So after the live yesterday, I went on and did a whole stack of these cards. And I also added, I can find it, this one here in Seaside Spray and I use the little thank you sentiment and these are all going to um, my ladies who purchased my class in a box this month so I've got a whole stack of these in different colours but they have a thank you sentiment um, which is really cute, it's quite a small thank you designed to fit on the little die cut um, but it just works really nicely with the stamp so my plan for today's live um, which I think I mentioned yesterday, is to still stamp the hydrangea, but this time fill it in with blends pens to do some colouring, both of the flower and of the leaves. If I put the two Rococo ones together, if I put, just fold this envelope back a little bit, um, so you can see the difference hopefully. So this one is the stamped image, so a, more of a single solid image and this one here I've used the blends pens. I've used Old Olive for the leaves here 
and I've used the light and dark Rococo Rose here but I've also used um, a petal pink just to fill in a little bit of the background so I'm going to change colours up for this afternoon and I have already um, pre die cut some pieces and I've used this really pretty frame from Nature's Thoughts this is the Nature's Thoughts stamp set um, die cut sorry that has butterflies in it as well and a feather and um, maidenhair fern die cut but it's a really pretty little border it cuts this and it's the perfect size for our note cards and envelopes as you can see and if I bring this piece closer I'm hoping you can see the detail so it's got some um, almost like some stitching dotted stitching that goes all the way around and as I say it's the perfect size for our note cards and envelopes so what I've done is I've got two of these ready and I've got two backings one is seaside spray and the other one is Highland Heather and some note cards so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp our hydrangea flower straight onto there there's not a great deal of room um, to play with so these um, leaves on either side just touch um, the little dots so I'm going to stamp this in early espresso and then use my blends pens to colour this in I'm going to change colours for these ones so that I've got granny apple green for the leaves so a bit brighter and I've got the choice of balmy blue and highland heather and I might add um, a little bit of darker detail for example misty moonlight or something um, with the blues just to bring out the centres of these flowers so I'll give it a go and we'll see what it looks like okay so I'm just going to start with the stamping I'm going to turn these on their side because I find it easier to stamp that way than to do it like that I find it's really awkward with my hand um, obviously you can do this on the Stamparatus as well I used the Stamparatus yesterday so I thought I would do it um, manually to show you today so I'm just going to take my early espresso ink and ink up the hydrangea stamp it's a nice fine um, line drawing okay so I'm just going to position this here now I do have the camera slightly between me and my stamping so I hope I'm going to get this um, fairly straight I could really do with the cushion underneath it and I've just put this down so I'll stamp this one and I'll bring in our stamp and pierce mat for the second one so I'm just giving this a little bit longer on the table For the ink to transfer there we go so that has worked even without the mat it's a really pretty crisp hydrangea let me grab the mat and do the same again So I'm just going to ink this up like so and I'm placing the whole hydrangea down obviously if you wanted to you could just have a part of it or you could have 
you know, two hydrangea heads, one either end. Um, but this just happens to fit this die cut really well. It's almost like it was made for it. I can see somebody else has joined us, but I can't see who it is. Oh, it's Carol. Hi, Carol. Don't expect to see you today. Okay, so there's my two stamped hydrangeas. I'm going to stamp the sentiment while I'm here. So the small sentiments we have, so this is with love. And we also have for you, congrats, thank you, and I love you. Those are the small sentiments. There are some larger ones. So I'm going to use the with love again, because I just think that's really sweet. And this is the sort of card that I send my mum. And I haven't sent her one for a, a week or two, so this might be going, well one of these will definitely be going to her. So I'm just going to use a small block for that. And I'm just going to test it out. There we go. So I could put it to the right or to the left really, it wouldn't matter. I do want to get that a bit more central however on my stamp because it's very wonky. Okay, let's pop these back up on my mat here. And I've got with love there. And let's put this one on the right hand side. Just for something a little bit different. So that's all the main stamping. I might do the envelope and stuff afterwards. I'm a bit quiet at work. Hmm. Don't say that. That's far too dangerous, isn't it? <laughs> so let's use Granny Apple Green. So this is the um, finished result I'm looking for. And this one I used Old Olive, light and dark. I'm going to use Granny Apple Green just so I can see um, what a difference that will make. And I'm going to use the dark Granny Apple here in the centre of the leaves where the veins are and also using the lines that the designers have given us it helps with the shading so I'm just going to do these really quickly so I hope everybody's had a good day seems to have gone remarkably quickly I don't really know why but it does okay so that's my dark granny apple green now I'm going to use the lighter one I should do that I'll do the fine ends. Going to lose a little bit of white space and then just blending out from the centre. Like so. Okay, do the same round here. So while I remember, normally my Wednesday morning session is at 10 o'clock, but I have hospital appointment tomorrow, so for tomorrow and the remainder of the week, I'll be here at 5pm. So I will put a reminder out in the morning, um, so if you're sat there waiting at 10, 
You'll have a long way, I'm afraid. <laughs> but I will be here, all being well, I'll be here at five. Okay, so I just coloured those in, just using a single light line for the stalk, like so. And there'd be nothing to stop you doing a combination of marker pen and stamping for this centerpiece if you didn't want to fill in those, um, all of those little petals so I don't know which color you prefer me to use whether you want me to use the blue or the purples let's go with blue so what I'm going to do is use the dark blue for the centers of the flowers like so so I want to sort of highlight those and then I may leave some white space behind I haven't done in this one I filled in a little bit um, so let's just have a look and see what it looks like so where we've got the dots for the flower centers this is the darker one So, and then I'm going to use the lighter balmy blue. Um, let's go for the narrower tip. Just to fill in the leaves. Obviously, you could just literally use a scribble motion with the larger tip and cover more of that if you wanted to. I want this to go a little bit darker in the centre, so I'm going to use, I've got Knight of Navy. and light misty moonlight so I'm just going to try misty moonlight here in some of the centers just want to make that just a little bit darker so there's more contrast between the light and the dark so I know Carol's been at work so I don't know what everybody else has been up to today don't know whether you've been crafting Jeanette have a look and see what that looks like so we have light and dark Let's just try the light on its own now then because hydrangeas do have that sort of light and dark petal I have to say I haven't looked at a photo of one um, in case the colours are inverted so it might be that the centres are light and the edges dark in which case I apologise if these are the wrong way round so for these ones here that are quite close in I'm just using a circular motion roughly where those where the leaves fall the petals I should say And for this one, I'm leaving a little bit of the white space behind. And then you can let me know which one you prefer. I 
Now I know that Carol's favourite colour is orange, but I have to say I've never seen an orange hydrangea. There we go. So that um, blending of colour hopefully really brings that to life. You can see that. Whereas this is, or this, although this is two colours, I've sort of gone over it and left a lot less white space. So as this one has got more white space behind it. Um, so let me know which one you prefer. Do you like the one with the white space? Or do you think I should go in and cover it all up? So you could put the odd bits in here if you don't want it too white. Oh, well done. Jeanette's been crafting, getting her birthday cards in order. Hi, Pauline. Thanks for joining us. Oops, beg your pardon. Okay. So let's do one with the purples and I might use, um, so I've got light and dark highland heather and I've also got, uh, what have I got, light and dark highland heather. I was just thinking whether black rebris is probably the wrong um, colour tone for it, but I might try purple posy, light purple posy, sort of in in the background area. So let's do a little bit of this first. So this is sort of going more in the gaps this time, where the white space would be, with a purple posy. Which is like a very, very pink Highland Heather, as you can see. Like so. And let's try the dark in the centre again, like so. So this has been stamped on a die cut which is a standard Whisper White. I'm waiting on my delivery of basic white which is our replacement we do have some issues with deliveries at the moment so there was a backlog um, after well during Christmas uh, because of Covid and the UPS deliveries getting through um, the tunnel and everything and then since then of course we've had Brexit which requires more paperwork for any of the deliveries to get through so we are experiencing um, probably an extra week in delay at the minute so this is a light highland heather and let's use the smaller end to blend this out So my class in a box for those that have ordered it um, is in the queue, but luckily I allow plenty of time for it to arrive. So I can get the videos and everything up and running before the goods arrive. Okay, so it makes a very pleasing sound. And that's because it's beginning to 
lose some of the ink. So this reminds me of the um, really pretty papers that you get with this set. Hydrangea Hill papers. And I could have stamped this obviously in purple as well, but then the leaf stalk would have been in purple. So I could have used my pens, I suppose. So it's circular motion. It's my favourite scribble technique. Although I'm being a little bit more careful in terms of where I'm scribbling. <laughs> so let me know, do you like it with a bit of white behind or with the colour behind? So this has got more of a colour and this is sort of a halfway house. So let me know what you think. It's this one that's going to my mum because she loves lilac colours, lilacs and purples. So I have a stash of stamps on hand. So this one will be going to my mum. And she really does love, well, we all love receiving handmade cards, don't we? Especially ones just because you know with no you know not necessarily any particular reason or occasion there we go let me have a look at the comments purple for Jeanette every time don't need to see the card it makes the cut yes it does that's very true very true so let's just add a bit of greenery in here and then we'll mount these up so as I say this is on the die cut from nature's thoughts and it just happens to fit it I tried a couple um, from ornate garden because I thought that would be perfect but they were either too narrow um, or just the wrong set of dimensions whereas this fits perfectly so if you've got this hydrangea haven stamp set i recommend you try it with the die cuts obviously things like the rectangle um die cut stitch rectangles and the ones that have the um A sort of pointed end I can't think what they're called now rectangles stitched something rectangles no mine has gone blank because they would work as well okay and then finally the light grinding apple green bringing out that colour, blending in between the light and the dark. And it is quite effective. If you can leave some white space, it makes it look more um, watercoloured if you like that effect. You can see around here I've left that little bit around the edge. But it just depends on the effect that you like really like so many of these things there we go and the last one here there we have it so just drawing this in with a very light touch and taking it from the stalk outwards like that there we go so I wonder which colour you prefer so this is Highland Heather this is Balmy Blue 
and this one is Rococo Rose. So let me know your preferred. I know Jeanette's will be purple right the way through, she said. So here's my um, note card and I've got a seaside spray layer. I could have gone for bashful blue really. So I'm going to layer these up like so. And I did think of putting a small ribbon here, but it just didn't fit. Um, I tried just literally a, a small piece, but the flower in itself, in its own right, um, does the trick. Um, if I show you, this wouldn't be the ribbon that I was going to use, but um, it's just, even with a fine ribbon, it just didn't suit it. Obviously, I wouldn't have used that colour. Would have used a white or a pale colour, but it just didn't do the job. Okay, so let's layer these up. And it's uh, white glue for me today. So one thing to watch if you are you if you are using die cuts is not to put too much glue over the edges here because they might come up through the holes. It does depend on which die cut you're using but just be careful not to completely soak the back because you don't want the glue sticking up through here. There we go and then another one there like so. My scribble of glue so a bit of scribble colouring and a bit of scribble gluing that's my that's my style so this evening I have a team meeting so I have a lovely team of ladies who have joined me some of them are hobby demos and so they um, purchase products for themselves at a discount and we have a monthly meeting it's just an informal one on zoom normally it used to be in person um, for my local ladies and um, now obviously we hold it on zoom and it's an opportunity for us to catch up have a chat talk about all things stamping up um, check in with each other as well um, we might do a bit of crafting um, crafting along together so if that sort of um, type of crafting is up your street and you want to buy Stamping Up at a discount, then you can join our team anytime. It's a particularly good deal at the moment. But most people say, although obviously they, they join for a discount, it's the camaraderie and the friendships that we have that keep them um, as demonstrators they don't want to miss out on the fun and the friendship um, we have card swaps and all sorts of things so that's what I will be doing this evening that's always the second Tuesday of the month is my team meeting so if you fancy if you're thinking about joining and you want to join our team meeting just message me and you're welcome to join on an informal basis um, see what we get up to at the team meeting if that would help you with any decisions so there we go those are my three cards let me know which is your preferred colour let me have a look and see so um, well yes just Jeanette in purple nobody else has commented on their favourite colours but that's okay I'll let you off for today um, so I could add the uh, little stamp in the corner or even the top end of that um, hydrangea let's just try that and see I'm just thinking could just put put that maybe there at an angle let us try that just so it's something different to the ones we did yesterday where I use the other stamp so I'm looking across my desk 
for my espresso ink. Which I know is here, here it is, underneath the envelope. So because this is in the, the inside of the card, I don't want to colour this in because the blends pen ink will go through to the back of the card. Not that it really matters, I guess, but I like the back to look nice. So what I'm going to do is pop that one on there. And I will do the same with the envelope, just the plain stamp, nothing else. There we go. I just think it's so stylish with its fine lines. If I was any good at drawing, I would give that a go. Let's do the same for these. And the same for the envelopes, I think. And that's us done for today. Let's move this one out of the way. The only reason I'm not using the mat for this is because, because I don't want to transfer any ink from the mat onto the front of my cards. There we go. Is that one there? And let's do the envelopes and then we're all done for today so just as a reminder I will be back tomorrow but at 5 p.m. and then 5 p.m. for the rest of the week just for this week so apologies if that doesn't suit everybody but at least you can watch or catch up the following day if it doesn't suit you right let's do this one this way around like so and the same with this one go voila right let me cover the ink pads up and show you the final card so those are the envelopes and then we've got this one here and with the inside this one here this is balmy blue the background is seaside spray and then the plain one inside and then this one here let me just take the post-it note out from here so this is Rococo Rose and I did this in exactly the same way but I just coloured this all in as opposed to leaving the little white space so it just looks perhaps a little bit not more natural I don't know it's difficult to say do let me know which you like the best um, I've used the same sentiment right the way through and that is the with love so thank you very much for joining me today um, I hope you have a nice evening if you're in the UK and have been watching um, live and I look forward to catching out with you catching up with you tomorrow thank you Carol Jeanette and Pauline for joining me this afternoon and I look forward to um, crafting with you tomorrow Thank you so much for watching me today. Have a good evening. Look after yourselves and your loved ones. Please take care. Stay safe and hope you can keep crafting. Thank you so much. Goodbye and good night.